Okay, today we're talking about perpendicular bisectors. So we're going to work with uh, 1C, the part from the textbook on perpendicular bisectors, and we'll start very quickly with an example. So here we've got this example. They give us two points, A and uh, B, and this um, line segment, AB, has a perpendicular bisector as seen as shown in this image. So what is a perpendicular bisector? It's a line which cuts a line segment in half, so it goes through the middle of the line segment, and it does so at a right angle, hence perpendicular. So we've got this right angle here. So perpendicular means right angle, bisector means cut in half. So here, the question is, how would we find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of this line segment? So how would we, would we find the equation of this black line here? Well, let's get started with the following notions. Firstly, we will need to find the midpoint of AB. So what do we need to remember to find on how to find the midpoint of a line segment? Well, in general, we know that if we have A, which is x1, y1, and we have B, which is x2, y2, then the midpoint M will actually be x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So the average, the number between the two x coordinates, and the y coordinate will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So once again, it will be the number between the two coordinates. So in this case, let's see. If A is 4, comma, minus 3 and B is minus 2, comma, 7, what is the midpoint going to be? Well, the midpoint is going to be 4 plus minus 2 divided by 2 and minus 3 plus 7 divided by 2. Let's see what this gives us. This gives us 4 plus minus 2, which is 2, divided by 2, which gives us 1. And then minus 3 plus 7, which is 4, divided by 2, well, that gives us 2. So we know this is the midpoint between uh, of A and B. This is the midpoint. Now, the second thing we're going to need is to use the fact that this line is perpendicular to the line AB. So keep in mind that when we have two lines, L1 and L2, then these two will be perpendicular if and only if, or when the product of the two gradients is equal to minus one. So this is the theory we've seen in previous lessons. So this fact we're gonna use now for the perpendicular bisector. So what do we know about this perpendicular bisector, which we can write as PB of AB? We know it has an equation of y is equal to mx plus c. So now we can actually try to find the m using the m of a, b. So what is the m of a, b? Let's see. The m of a, b is given by that, by that formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If in this case we've got a and b, these are the coordinates, how do we calculate the gradient of line segment a, b? What is 7 minus 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 3 divided by minus 2 minus 4. Excellent. That's the idea. So 7 minus minus 3 gives us 10. And we're going to divide this by minus 6. And I think this simplifies to minus 5 over 3. So feel free to generally put this into your calculator to calculate it. Okay, so knowing this now, because this is minus 5 over 3, we know that the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is going to be the negative reciprocal. So we know that the uh, gradient of the perpendicular bisector, let's call it M2, is actually going to be 3 over 5. Because firstly, we change the sign, and then we flip the fraction. If you like, I'm going to show you how I calculate this. I did minus 1 divided by minus 5 over 3. So you can put this into the calculator, it gives you 3 over 5. So what do I know now? I know that the gradient of this line here is actually 3 over 5. So we can say y is equal to 3 over 5x plus c. Now we are very close. The only thing missing is actually that we need to find c. So let's see how we're going to find that c. So we're moving on to step 3 now to find that c. We've got y is equal to 3 over 5x plus c. And we know that the line passes through the midpoint, which is 1 comma 2. So let's go ahead and substitute x for 1 and y for 2 to see what that gives us. So if y is 2, and then that's equal to 3 over 5 times 1 plus c, let's see what c is going to be equal to. So this gives us 2 is equal to 3 fifths plus c, which gives us c is equal to 2 minus 3 over 5, which if you put it into the calculator, you get 7 over 5. 
So that means that finally the equation we've been asked to find is actually y is equal to three fifths of x plus seven over five. So this is the final answer at the bottom right of the screen down here. Three fifths of x plus seven over five. And this is pretty much what we are doing. Just to recap very quickly, whenever you've got a problem like this and you're looking for the perpendicular bisector, one of the things you need to find is the midpoint of the line segment. Another thing you need to find is the gradient of the line segment. So in this case, that was M of A, B. The third thing you will find is the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. So this M right here, which is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of A, B. And then finally, you want to find that C by using this idea with the midpoint, using the idea that the, the line goes through the midpoint. And that's pretty much the recap of the methodology. In four steps, if you like, we're going to be finding the equation of the perpendicular bisector of any line segment. Let me just stop the recording here, and I'm going to give you some time to ask any questions you might have.